Hi, this is Tammy. And I'm Rebecca. And we are A Chick That Knits. Welcome to our hand-dyed yarn studio. So we have been really busy moving into our new studio space and we're here, this yeah. is it. And so we are in the showroom right now. Um, it's not finished, we are by no means finished. We have been in here for one month from the time we have signed the lease until now. Mm -hmm. And we have painted everything, we have cleaned everything, we have moved everything in. Now we're just finishing setting it up. And so we're gonna take you on a little tour so you can see what it is. Um, we haven't been knitting much because we've been doing this move. And we're open every day online, so we still have sales that come in every day that we have to conduct business. So um, we've been conducting business and uh, moving at the same time. And so we really love it here. We're really yeah. happy. We've been spending this week kind of getting settled in and then also back in the dye studio getting ready for the North Texas Yarn Crawl. Yeah. Um, Two weekends, right? Well, Not this weekend, but the next weekend. Yes. yes. We will be in Farmersville, Texas, um, which is a suburb of Dallas. Mm -hmm. Maybe on, 30 minutes from Dallas? Yeah, on the e way, way, way east side of Dallas. Yeah. Um, we'll be at Yarn and You. Um, both weekends, so we'll get down there Thursday to set up for y'all, and then we'll be down there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the first weekend, and then we'll be back Saturday and Sunday for the second weekend. Mm -hmm. We gotta come home and still work. So we're gonna take you for a little tour, and uh, remember, we're not fully set up yet, but we've missed you. We've been gone a whole month, and we're constantly going, we gotta get on YouTube, we gotta get on YouTube, we gotta get on YouTube. So pardon the mess, but um, we're gonna show you a little looky-loo. So here we go. All right, guys, we are outside of our building. We just got our new sticky sign today, so we're super excited, we're official. We have had some deliveries returned because the delivery people don't think anybody's here. So now we officially have a sign and our yarn can't be returned. Yay! So come on in, this is our new place. Okay, so this is our front entryway. Now remember, we're not all set up yet. But this is our assigned pulling wall. And if you remember from my house, I told you we can't keep it full. We can't keep it full here either. So as soon as we put up a new batch, just boom, 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 they start going out. So I don't know if we'll ever get this full, but um, we sure try our best. And um, we're just putting our Surrey up and our new Merino cotton. Oh, guys, if you like summer skeins, summer yarn and cotton, you really got to give this a try. It is so incredibly soft, and because it has the merino wool in it, it's so luxurious. It's amazing. Uh, Dr. Sarah made us a little tank top, and it's coming soon, so um, we'll get to show you that soon. But anyway, this is our entryway. When you walk in, we have a little entryway. We're going to have a couple seating areas and some kits and some things like that. Now, this is our studio where we work, and... Um, so we've got our office supplies in here and things like that. We're gonna have open studio days, maybe the first weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of every month where we open up the studio to everybody and you can come shop. So yay, come on in, come over here. Now we are working. So this isn't cleaned up like a showroom because we're constantly working all the time. And so this is where we fill our orders and do our shipping. This is, um, we had these couches at a Chick That Knits retail store. Everybody loved them and I kept one. So we have our couch in here. And then this is where we have the yarn hanging up. Look at this fun picture. I love this picture. This is me and Rebecca and Bev at the Dallas-Fort Worth Fiber Festival. 
So um, this is where we take our pictures for the internet, our online store. And we've been working furiously at uh, getting ready for the yarn show. And we've just got our yarn up on the walls. And like I said, it's not 100% come, to come together yet, but we're working on it. What is today? April 11th. So we're getting ready for the for the Texas crawl. Then we get back. Well, we're done with that at the end of April. Then we have May to get ready. And then I think the first weekend in June, we'll be able to open up to where you can come visit us in person. So that's what our plans are. But yeah, this is work. We're working. I am loading up some uh, mini skeins I want to discontinue. Um, we have a lot of pretty colors, but there's only like one or two or three of them in stock. And so I'm going to put those on sale. They're just $5 and um, create my new mini wall. I used to have this giant mini wall and um, we're going to do it again. So anyway, do you ever do things, your mannerisms, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's my mother. <laughs> Anyway, come on in here. This is um, just a, from the front to the back. We, this is where we put our purses and stuff. Um, Rebecca has been designing patterns, and we have our library. We're going to bring a library up here. We just have a few books in our library right now. But um, shipping supplies. This is a drink fridge where we have that fridge just full of drinks. And come on back here. So this is the warehouse part. I had this big carpet left over, so we bought some padding. This is a big concrete floor that we walk on all the time, and we've got padding under here and a carpet under here. This is where we wind our skeins. We've got bare yarn there, bare yarn there. Come on in. We also put really thick padding under here, so it's cushy. It's not hard concrete anymore. And as you can see, we're working. We have um, yarn that we're dyeing. We're getting ready. Rebecca has been dyeing today. Ooh, I haven't seen this. She's been back here playing. Look how fun. New colors. And then these are our dyes. This is our assigned pulling setup. So in the past, I'd have five skeins in a pot and I'd have to lift them up, turn them inside out because you want the outer skein and the inner skein to get an even amount of color. And I just did it with my hands. I was like Popeye. I'm still, it's like granite because of a holding up wet yarn all the time. Rebecca is too. She's getting to be like Popeye too. Shoulder Popeye anyway. So we have um, our dryers and our oven. And um, our sink, we got our sink hooked up and we love it. Rebecca's mom and dad came from Illinois and um, he did our electricity and he did our plumbing and we absolutely love our sink. So if um, you guys are watching, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, but we still have storage. Remember, this is going to be our dry room. It'll be that eventually. We've only been in here a month. We've had to clean the rafters. There was an embroidery shop here, and you know the lint in your dryer? You have to clean that out. Imagine all that lint in here that's never been cleaned out. It was this thick. It had icicles of lint hanging from the ceiling. Um, so it was hard, but we got up there and we did it, and we've painted everything. Remember, this was a warehouse. I think it was a car place and then the embroidery shop, so it was really dirty. So, those pallets behind you? these are new steel tables. So, oh, oh, well, something happened. So, I completely moved out. All this was in my house, guys. My entire house. If you go back a couple videos, you'll see the house tour. And it was completely, totally donated to my yarn business, except our bedroom. So, we decided to move out, move everything here, and we did. And so the movers came last week, moved everything out, we set everything up here, and now I'm at home twiddling my thumbs with nothing to do when I'm at home. 
And so I'm setting up my, <laughs> I'm setting up my dye studio again in the garage. So the house will be there. It'll be a normal house again. But I have to do something on the weekends or the evenings when I get home. And I love dyeing yarn, guys. I, I don't want to sew. I don't want to cut. I just want to dye yarn. So anyway, we had to get some more tables because the garage is still going to be my dye studio. So anyway, um, do you all want to come upstairs and see upstairs to our cool little break room upstairs? Oh, and look at this. So this is the big box. Um, we just put that storage stuff up there. So um, that'll be fun. But anyway, let's go upstairs. Okay, so we're upstairs. It's echoing. I hope it doesn't sound weird for you guys. So there's a whole apartment up here. Um, there's a bedroom behind you. Let's look. This could be a bedroom. A small bedroom. But there's a closet right here. And you could put a bed here. But this is our storage room. Where we do decorations and pictures. We've sold over 100 Advents, guys. And I've gone ahead and I've ordered everything. So we've got our Advent boxes and things in here for Christmas. <clears throat> so we're not fully set up yet. But I donated my couches up here. So my living room is completely, ba completely bare. I've had to go out and buy new living room furniture, which will be delivered on Sunday. But we have the little living room up here. We have the kitchenette over here with a fridge and an oven. See, they so you can't live here because it's a commercial property, but it is set up to where somebody could actually live up here. There's even a shower in the bathroom. And our dogs have come to visit. So Rebecca's boyfriend, Josh, got the dogs their own little beds. So they've been up here and they like their beds and their toys. And that's really fun. And again, we thought we'd do a recording area over here where it's just, we could come and sit and knit and record. But like I said, we're busy, we're working. We work every day. So finding time to do all this, we just have to fit it in when we can. So we're set up to work, and we've got our fun little cool hangout up here, the clubhouse. So this is it, guys. You want to come look at it from the, from the balcony? All right, so here we are on the balcony, and we just wanted to do a quick little video and show you what we've been doing, how busy we've been, and what's going on. And maybe in, uh, well, we hope to record in two weeks. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back. For, ooh, we'll take you to the yarn, the North Texas Yarn Crawl with us. Yeah, that sounds and like And show fun. you how that is. So that'll be our next video. We'll, show, we'll invite you to come along and show you how to do that. Stacy has a beautiful store. Mm -hmm. So you'll enjoy looking around her store. We'll show you the whole store. And um, her little central downtown area is really cool. So we'll take you with us. That'll be our next video. And then after that, hopefully this place will be done. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we love you guys, and thanks for spending your time with us. And we'll, we'll see, see you soon. soon.